Hello everybody and welcome back to another test video. Uh, this is where I actually should have done the uh, test, the flexible test with the new Quartrax 715. This is the uh, rock crawl map by our good friend Alien Jim. Uh, but this video here is not about the bumps sir. It's about yeah, we got some wild animals there. <laughs> it's about that big hill over there. I got some tractors set up there and a plow and yeah, some big birds. Uh, let's just say it like that with tractors. Look at these tracks sir. Hardly moving at all. Let's try out these guys. <laughs> All right, let's uh, head over to the hill. So here we are at the hillside, at the test site, and I got six tractors, which I'm gonna test. Um, five of them are big tractors, and I got one medium tractor. And I know there's probably a lot of you screaming to the screen now, why didn't you test this one? Why didn't you test that one? You know what, leave it in the comment section and I might do a separate test if you want to see anything else. Uh, but the premise is, is uh, let's see, the camera here is a little bit wonky, but uh, anywho. So this hillside here, which is created by Alien Jim himself, the only thing I have done, I've painted a finish line here. Uh, the start line is over here. Um, so what we have to pull is the John Deere plow. This one here requires 320 horsepower. So what I've done, I've uh, leased myself a fan tractor, fan, yeah, a tractor, <laughs> which has just over 300 horsepower. This one I think has 326. Uh, so I'm not gonna create feel. I'm just gonna lower the plow like so, and then. I'm gonna cruise control and then start the watch because <laughs> I don't have a side panel. <laughs> There's no a quick fix on this, but it, this is gonna be the same for all the tractors. So cruise control and then start the watch. And uh, you can pretty easy see here that uh, this is, um, there are assistance, uh, even though I'm not creating fields, you know, this one is dropping down already to two kilometers an hour. But you know, it's a fent. A fent never gives up. So I've actually done this with this uh, tractor here, and he's actually gonna make it. It's gonna take a hot second, but you see, he's struggling one, two kilometers an hour. <laughs> you know what, I I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna punish you uh, more there, buddy. So I'm gonna line them up and let's um, have a look on which tractors we have here. And again, I know there's many different ones. So first one here, this is the uh, John Deere 4755 by Dominic. This one has 890 horsepower. This you'll find on the medium tractors. I just have to try this one. Uh, because I, it's a lot of horsepower, but it's it's kind of uh, lightweight though, so I'm um, I'm looking forward to test that one. Next one here, this is the case, oh, yeah, the case one from Mack Trucker 921. <laughs> this one's got 886 horsepower. This is probably my favorite tractor right now. Uh, not only does it have a lot of horsepower, it's quick, it comes with its own um, front loader and also uh, a big chunky weight. So I'm, oh, I'm excited to test this one. This guy here, this is the John Deere 9630. This one only has 530 horsepower, but it's one of the big boys with big chunky tires, floaters. Uh, next one here, this is the New Holland T9-700. This one's got 776 horsepower. 
and of course I had to have this one. This is the modded Big Bird. This one's got 1100 horsepower. I think this is the biggest one uh, when it comes to horsepower. I know we got some uh, semi trucks which has like a gazillion uh, horsepower, but I think this is probably the biggest one. And of course, last last but not least, the Case Quad Track 715 by Custom Modding and Carl Farms. This one's got 778 horsepower. So I'm gonna let's see. Let's take this one first. I think I'm gonna line it up, and I'll see you at the start. All right, test number one, the Quad Track 715. I got it all lined up. I got my stopwatch ready, so I'm gonna lower the plow, like so, and now it, the trick is <laughs> start the um, the uh, cruise control, and then it's like back a half a second before I start the clock, but that's gonna be the same for all of them, so cruise control on and start, there we go. Shoot do this there we go we're going nine ten kilometers an hour it's a steep bomb that for sure <laughs> even though I'm not creating fields it seems like because I had to start the game all over again uh, it seems like it's it's not creating something, but it's just a paintable structure, so to speak. Okay, I'm going to stop the clock when the plow hits the first white. Let's see here now. And there. There we go. 54.79 seconds. Okay, around 55 seconds one is the big bird with 1100 horsepower I've lined it up uh, at the start point so same thing here cruise control and then start to watch oh I need to lower the plow there we go <laughs> cruise control and start and yes of course uh, all of these uh, tractors comes with you know a gazillion uh, different wheel options uh, if I had, had to test all of the wheel options um, yeah it's too much so I've taken more or less all the standard wheel uh, options on all of them uh, which they come with I know this one has also some triples and, and I haven't uh, put any weight on the front on any of the tractors and I can see already now this is a bit slower even though it's got a 300 horsepower or more all right come on big bud and the reason why I cho chose this uh, okay I need to be ready here now I need to be ready okay uh, uh, and there, there we go. All right, that was a bit slower. One minute and six seconds. I need to write it down. One minute, six second. Oh wow, that's that's 12 seconds slower than the case. All right, next one. So, before we move over to the next one, uh, I brought with me the heaviest item at least I have in my um, shop and that's this uh, this carrow here this one came with the premium expansion and it will you know it's required to pull this one 650 horsepower so it could be that maybe uh, the winner and number two we need to try to pull that one up here because I see already now that uh, probably all of these will manage to pull it up. So, next one here. This is the uh, New Holland with 776 horsepower and these chunky, what do you call them? LSW. Flotate, 
flotation tiles. <laughs> okay, we are on the same spot. There we go. And lower the plow. And my iPhone has gone into dark mode again. <laughs> there we go. All right. Cruise control and start. Let's see. Cruise control and start. There we go. This should do good, I think. I hope. But he is the big flotation tire, sir. Let's get the lights on. Maybe that's got <laughs> some fast lights. All right. We are down to nine kilometers an hour. All right. I'm though I'm not touching the wheel, so to speak. Okay, we're running up to 31 seconds. There is actually a steep um, hill on the backside here. Um, but um, I, I tried it with the big bird, but uh, it didn't manage. All right, we're coming up here, buddy. We need to stop it right there. Ooh, interesting. 54. Point eighty six. That's the no, it's not the quickest one. The case was uh, five milliseconds faster. All right, next one, the uh, John Deere ninety six thirty. Let's uh, line it up here. There we go. Lower it. Cruise control start. <laughs> this one also with some big chunky flotation tires. Let's see speed. Nah, I'm all the same as John Deere. Oh, <laughs> the New Holland. 9, 10. Oh, it's creeping down there, buddy. You're pulling a cousin. You're pulling a, <laughs> a cousin plow. Let's put on some speed lights. Maybe that's helping. And don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> you know what? I think maybe this uh, uh, rock crawler map here. Uh, I, I might change my test map to this one. Because on here I got more or less everything I need. Not only hillside and those things, but some big fields. Okay, I need to watch the time here now. Uh, coming up to the end. And we are... Bam! There we go. Ooh. One minute and five seconds. That's the second slowest so far. Hmm. But this one, you know what, this only got 530 horsepower. Alright, next one. Alright, I've opened up myself a can of Coke. This is my favorite. The case from uh, special edition from uh, Mac Trucker 921. <laughs> so let's see, I've all lined up here now. The plow is lowered and now cruise control and start come on buddy yeah okay oh it's a little bit higher speed I'm looking at you know 10 11 sir this one here of course has 886 horsepower this is definitely quicker than which one is the time to beat is 54.79. Come on, Mac Trucker 921. 54.79. That's the case code track, which is the fastest one so far. Alright, we're coming up to the goal here now. And. Bam, there. Ooh, man, we got ourselves a new leader. 52.4 52.4 All right Nice buddy <laughs> Still my favorite All right last one John Deere 
4755 by <laughs> Dominic, 890 horsepower. And I've gone for the quick one, as you can see on the bottom right corner. This is the one that goes 150 kilometers an hour. All right, are you ready? I'm all lined up. There we go. The plow uh, was lowered. Okay. Uh, stopwatch. Let's see. Cruise control and start. What are we looking at there, Dominic? 15, 14 kilometers an hour. What? You know, this one, I, I've tried this one with some really heavy implements on the field, and then it gets a little bit, uh, you know, jumpy. But pulling things like this, 15, 14 kilo. Oh, wow, this is a winner, that, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> Look at it go. Man, I thought this would have been too light for this kind of job. But, man, this, okay, I need to be ready here, buddy. And we are looking at there. Wow. All right. 41.2 second. That's 11 second faster than the case one. Man, this was a quick one. All right. This is the, definitely the winner. Um... You know what? Since this one won the whole thing now, I'm gonna disconnect this one. Boop. Uh, we're gonna try this big boy here. Like I said, uh, if you see here, the disc arrow, 615 horsepower. Let's try that. Now, I don't think I'm gonna test all six tractors with this one. You can see I've already done some disc arrowing here. Uh, I'm gonna try it with my two favorites, uh, this one and this guy here, uh, the Mack Trucker case. Alright buddy, test number two, we're all lined up, the disc arrow is down, uh, reset counter and cruise control start. 615 horsepower this one requires. And no, there's not, there's not going to be any difference with pulling it now than the second time. Uh, if you if you look at the texture on the ground, that's going to be the exact same. And now we're not looking at 15 kilometers an hour. Now we're looking at 8, 9. Ooh, and it's spinning. I wonder if the case could even do this. Oh, man. Now we are that okay. Forty-one seconds there. All right, zoom out there, buddy. Be ready. Okay, we are looking at stopping the clock there. All right, with the big disc arrow. Fifty-six. Let's see, fifty-six point two. Hmm, it's probably good. All right, we got the Mack Trucker case. <laughs> I don't know why I'm calling it. The official name on it is, let's say I bought this one. It's this one, the Case Magnum 400 Power Drive Twin Turbo. I know. Uh, and the other ones I've uh, leased, uh, T9700, Big Bird, so if you want to search for them, just search in the mod hub. All these tractors are for uh, all platforms. Okay, reset watch. Uh, time to beat is 56.2. A little bit ahead. There we go. And it's down, yes. Bam, and start. The John there did slip a bit in the beginning. What are we looking at there, buddy? Some speed lights on. Oh man! No! You're kidding me! No! <laughs> He's not gonna make it! Oh man! We got what? 886 horsepower here. 
almost the same as John Deere by Dominic. Ha! Huh. That was a big surprise, actually. And now we are down to zero. <laughs> okay, I'm giving up. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Who would have thought that? That this guy here was beaten by a medium tractor. Hmm. Okay, just one more. Uh, let's see, this one or the big bird? Um, let's try this one. No, not that one. This one. Okay, 715 quad track versus 615 horsepower disc arrow. Cruise control, start! This is like, uh, this is a really heavy one. This is, I don't know, like 50 ton or something like that. No! Oh, it's still going. Man, that John Deere <laughs> really impressing me now. He's going, but it's, it's going slow. But well, eventually he's gonna get there. Okay, I'm gonna cut in uh, when we reach the top pair. All right, coming to the end and there. One minute and 48 seconds. One minute and 48 seconds. Wow. So yeah, like I said, let's jump down there. Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, that's gonna leave a bump in the ground. Uh, the John Deere tractor really impressed me. But let's get some uh, final results, at least for uh, the plow. This one here was a little bit special. But uh, yeah, so, uh, first of all, uh, will we get some air with this uh, crazy boy here? I'm gonna land on my wheels. No! <laughs> Alright, we got. Oh, I'm do. Let's uh, do some results. So, here we go. Sixth place, Big Bird, 1 minute and 6 seconds. Fifth place, the John Deere, with 1 minute and 5 seconds. Fourth place, the New Holland, 54 seconds, 54.9 to be exact. Third place, the New Case Quad Track, uh, where are you, where are you there, buddy? 54.82 seconds, no, 79. This was, you know, like um, four hundreds of a second uh, quicker than the John Deere. Second place, my favorite. 52.4 second and the winner which is actually a, a medium tractor the John Deere 4755 by Dominic 41 second that's 25 second faster than the Big Bird I know it's uh, maybe an unrealistic mod and all these things and we're having probably a hundreds of different tractors, other tractors that I should have been testing. But these are the six ones I've taken today. So there we go. I'm going to keep this map. And maybe there are some other tests I can figure out. Or maybe I'm going to need some help from you guys. Anyway, thanks for watching and bye bye. Mm -hmm.